it's Lizzie all from Old Stables Crafts. Thank you so much for joining me again today for another Simple Stamping Saturday. And we're playing with Zany Zebras. So, Zany Zebras is in the beginner brochure. So in the, what we call it, Make Beautiful Things and we'll show you how. So it's in here. It's also in the annual catalogue. So you can find it in both. So it's it's very very easy for everyone to find um, in the beginner's brochure it just shows you some nice easy little projects using watercolor pencils actually using the assortment two watercolor pencils a memento ink pad and some basic white cardstock i'm going to show you as ever because it is simple stamping saturday three projects all of them are basically the same they're just stepped up a bit so let me show you the first project, which is this one. So I'm using this chap here. <laughs> Aren't they so cute? They've got the most gorgeous little faces. Um, sorry, I just think they're so cute. They've been so popular. We've They sold out in like no time at all and we had to get more stock in. They may even still be on back order. I know we filled the back order and I think they may still be on back order but they're certainly available to, to order. You just may have to wait a little while, but they're just the cutest little chaps. So I just stamped the one that's looking back over his shoulder at the happy birthday and then put some little stars around. The greetings, the sentiments in the stamp set are brilliant. It's time to celebrate, wild about you, happy birthday, kick, your, kick up your heels and you party animal. There's a little hat if you want to put a hat on them these stars and a little shadow, which is particularly good for this chap who's obviously leaping with joy. So let me show you how I've made this one. I'm starting with one of our uh, Whisper White note cards and envelopes. They come in a pack of 20 of each, which is brilliant. So you can make 20 of the same project or lots of different projects, but you could use a whole, make a whole little set and they actually fit, fit in our mini paper pumpkin boxes, the note cards and envelopes. So always worth remembering that. So you wouldn't even have to make a box. You could make a set of cards, pop them in your paper pumpkin box and gift them to somebody. So I'm just going to stamp my little chap down with my black memento. Perfect. What's quite nice is because it's a slightly sketchy stamp, if it's not a brilliant, um, brilliantly crisp stamp, it doesn't matter. So if you do struggle a little bit with um, with stamping perfectly, this is a really good stamp set for you. So we've got our happy birthday. I'm just going to take our little stars and I'm actually going to go from this side because then I won't smudge or, or I'm less likely to smudge. So some stars around the happy birthday and then just round his head because he's a star just like that and then on the back of the um, envelope well I'm going to do some stamping on the front and the back but on the back of the envelope I'm going to stamp you party animal and then on the front of the envelope let me grab my mini grid paper so on the front we're going to have our zebra again but just peeking over his shoulder just in the bottom right hand corner so there we go and no stars this time just just our little zebra so that's all we need our ink pad for and as you can see this is the one I did previously so we're we're almost finished for coloring I am going to suggest that you grab a set of the new in color um, Stamping Right markers. I'm just going to grab a scrap of Whisper White because I want to show you just what a brilliant set of colours they are if you need just a basic set of colours because we've got a really nice brown. So that's your trees. Uh, we've got a not quite navy, it's a misty moonlight, so a dark blue. The bumblebee, which is the one that I'm going to be using in a moment. So really nice, kind of slightly muted. I think I might leave that one till last. Then we've got a green, so just jade, brilliant. So 
Cinnamon Cider, Misty Moonlight, Bumblebee, Just Jade, and the well-known, well-named Magenta Madness, because that is one bright colour. I love it, I have to say. It's knocked Melon Mambo off the top of my I love it list. Um, it's, it's Melon Mambo on steroids. It's actually a bluer pink than Melon Mambo, which I hadn't realised is redder than I thought it was. So I'm just going to, with the tip end, because we've got... So I used the brush end, but there's also a writing end, which is, hence they are called Stampin' Write markers. Because they, you can use them to write. So I'm just colouring all of my stars with my yellow, so my bumblebee. It's worth leaving the ink to dry maybe a little bit longer before you colour these in because um, the memento is water resistant, not waterproof. So as this is also a water-based ink, it can smudge the memento a wee bit, but um, it's fine. And then you can just fold your note card in half and get one of my favourite bits of equipment, the bone folder. You need one. You will only ever need one unless you lose it. Uh, but they are just so good at getting a really nice crisp fold. And there are our two little note cards. So I've got the back of one envelope and the front of the other so that you can see both of those. But really, really cute, really quick, really easy. So let me show you how I have stepped those up. So for my more casual crafter, someone who's got a bit more um, time, a few more supplies, I've gone for this. Now, I've used... The inspiration for this, and particularly the next one, is from a demonstrator in the States called Stephanie Flath, F-L-A-T-H. I will try and link her site um, from my site. So if you go to the associated website uh, blog post below, I will try and find her website and link to it. So I've popped this onto some basic black, but again, we've got the same colouring. I've used some of our um, in-colour enamel dots, which are gorgeous. So I've used some of those, just a couple there, just so that it's not all yellow. And these are the same colour as... So this is a faded version of Magenta Madness. It's, hmm, I want to say Crushed Curry, Melon Mambo and Magenta Madness. It's from the... Artistry, now what do we call it? Not playing with patterns. Art, artistry Blooms Suite. So it's this paper here. Uh, artistry Blooms Designer Series Paper, which is on page 148. So let me find page 148. And this is in the new annual catalogue. So it's here. It's Bermuda Bay, Calypso Coral, Coastal Cabana, Daffodil Delight, Garden Green, Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple Green, Magenta Madness, Mango Melody, Melon Mambo, Knight of Navy, Rich Razzleberry and Whisper White. Phew. So I have used uh, the Bumblebee in place of uh, the Mango Melody or maybe the Daffodil Delight, but it still works. It's still fine. So that's my casual crafter. For my more avid crafter, I've stepped it up quite a bit. I'm using the dies that we used last week, which is the Hippo and Friends dies, which have got lots of wonderful label dies, as well as having the, um, the, the characters. And I've used these dies here. And this is the one that I've, the version that I've come up with. Um, and it's got a piece of window sheet. So the happy birthday is stamped on the inside. Um, and then these, again, I've offset, as I have here. I've actually coloured the zebra with Clear Wink of Stella. And I've also coloured the stars with Clear Wink of Stella. I've added some of the Magenta Madness ribbon and just tied a little bow. But I've done it so that it's not showing on here. So it's tucked 
it's trapped between between the paper and the um, and the black card and then I've popped um, on both I've popped up the zebra so really pretty but I think you can see how they are the same card just stepped up um, I I went back from having used the enamel shapes or enamel dots to the flat stars because these on the inside, maybe not. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and do make sure you subscribe and ring the notification bell to be notified of when I post my videos. They're not always at the same time because I'm involved in some blog hops and some design team work. Uh, they do go out at different times and on different weeks so it is worth hitting that notification bell just so that you get notified when I post another, another video. If you've got any questions or comments leave those below the description bar um, and I will get back to you and thank you or answer the question. So have a great weekend and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Thanks a lot for watching.